Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on angles in polygons. Here's what you'll learn. How to find the measures of angles in polygons. There are 180 degrees in every triangle, and we can prove it. In my video, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines, we learned about the properties of parallel lines that are cut by a transversal. So let's go ahead and start our proof by creating a triangle and identifying its angles, angle 1, 2, and 3. Now, if we use the bottom of this triangle as one of our parallel lines and the top of the triangle to create our other parallel line, then extend each of the blue lines to form two transversals cutting those parallel lines, we can prove the angles in a triangle total 180 degrees. And here's how. A property of parallel lines and transversals tells us that angles between the parallel lines, the red lines, and on opposite sides of the transversal, the blue lines, are congruent. So that means angle 1 in the triangle is the exact same measure just to the left of angle 2 on the other side of its transversal. And angle 3 in the triangle is the same measure just to the right of angle 2, the other side of its transversal. Now, we see that the sum of angles 1, 2, and 3 have to be 180 degrees because angles 1, 2, and 3 form a straight line and a straight line is a straight angle of 180 degrees. Therefore, the sum of angles 1, 2, and 3 making up the triangle also total 180 degrees. Now, let's use that information to find unknown measures in triangles. Find the measure of the missing angle X in this figure. We know the sum of all three angles in a triangle total 180 degrees. So the right angle, 90 degrees, plus the 60 degree angle, plus our missing angle X, have to total 180 degrees. Now we can add 90 and 60 together to reduce the equation to 150 plus X equals 180. Now we subtract 150 from both sides to isolate X on the left, and we have to do it to both sides to keep our equation balanced. So on the left, the 150s will cancel, leaving us with just our variable X. And on the right, 180 minus 150 is 30. So X equals 30, or the missing angle is 30 degrees. Let's work another one. Find the measure of the missing angle M in this triangle. The sum of all three angles we know have to total 180 degrees. So we can add all the angles together. 19 plus 19 plus M equals 180. Now let's go ahead and add the 19 and 19 together. That will reduce our equation to 38 plus M equals 180. Now subtract 38 from both sides to isolate the M on the left side. On the left, the 38s will cancel, leaving us with just the variable M. And on the right, 180 minus 38 is 142. So now we know M equals 142, or the missing angle is 142 degrees. Now, how do we find angle measures in other types of polygons? Well, knowing that the measures of angles in a triangle total 180 degrees allows us to determine the total number of degrees in other polygons. And here's how. All polygons can be broken up into triangles. And once we know how many triangles make up a polygon, we simply multiply that number by 180 degrees. But how do we find the number of triangles that make up a polygon? Well, let's look at a few polygons for examples. Let's find the number of degrees in this quadrilateral. To see how many triangles make up the figure, simply pick any one vertex, and I'll pick the one in the upper left-hand corner on this figure, and draw lines to any vertices that aren't already connected to it. 
Now the vertex is already connected to vertices along the top and the left edges. So that means we just have to draw one line connecting the other vertex, like that. And I think it's easy to see we've created two triangles. Hence a quadrilateral is made up of two triangles. Now since a quadrilateral is made up of two triangles, and we know each triangle is 180 degrees, the angle measures in a quadrilateral have to total 360 degrees. Two triangles times 180 degrees equals 360 degrees. Next, let's find the number of degrees in a pentagon. Again, to see how many triangles make up the figure, simply pick any one vertex, and in this case I'll pick the vertex at the very top of the pentagon, and we're going to draw lines to any vertices that aren't already connected to it. Now the vertex is already connected to vertices along both top edges. So we're only going to have to draw lines connecting each of the other two vertices, just like that. Now how many triangles did we make? A pentagon is made up of three triangles. Since a pentagon is made up of three triangles, and each triangle is 180 degrees, the angle measures in a pentagon have to total 540 degrees. Three triangles times 180 degrees equals 540 degrees. Now let's do one more. Let's find the number of degrees in a hexagon. Again, to see how many triangles make up the figure, simply pick any one vertex. This time I'll pick the one that's farthest to the right and draw lines to any vertices that aren't already connected to it. Now the vertex is already connected to vertices along the right edges, so we're going to draw lines connecting each of the other three vertices, just like that. Now how many triangles do we have? A hexagon is made up of four triangles. Since a hexagon is made up of four triangles, and each triangle is 180 degrees, the angle measures in a hexagon have to total 720 degrees. Four triangles times 180 degrees equals 720 degrees. Now did you happen to notice a pattern in those examples? We had a four-sided figure that's made up of two triangles. A five-sided figure made up of three triangles a six-sided figure made up of four triangles. The number of triangles needed to create a polygon is two less than the number of sides. So we don't really have to chop each polygon up into triangular parts to figure out the number of triangles that make up that figure. Just count the number of sides and subtract two. The number of sides minus two equals the number of triangles in any polygon. Let's take a look at some examples now of finding angle measures in other types of polygons. Determine the sum of the angle measures in the figure first, then solve for the missing measure, in this case y. First we need to determine the number of degrees in our figure. Now count the number of sides and we'll subtract two. This figure has one, two, three, four sides. So four sides minus two tells us we have two triangles in this figure. Now we know each triangle is 180 degrees, so two triangles times 180 degrees tells us the total degrees in the figure is 360. So the sum of all the angles has to total 360 degrees. Let's go ahead and set up an equation now that we can solve. Let's start with one of the 90 degree angles, add the other 90 degree angle, add the 107 degree angle, and add the missing angle y. All four of them have to total 360. Now we can reduce the equation by adding 90, 90, and 107 together. That gives us 287 plus y equals 360. Now subtract 287 from both sides. That will allow us to isolate our variable y on the left hand side. And that happens because on the left the 287's cancel leaving just our variable y, and on the right 
360 minus 287 is 73. So y equals 73. Or the missing angle is 73 degrees. Let's do one more. Determine the sum of the angle measures in this figure, then solve for the missing measure, x. First, we have to determine the number of degrees in our figure. And we do that by counting the number of sides and subtracting 2. So let's count the number of sides now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sides in our figure. So 7 sides minus 2 tells us this figure could be cut into 5 triangles. Now each triangle is 180 degrees, so 5 times 180 degrees gives us 900 degrees. So the sum of all the angles has to total 900 degrees. Let's set up an equation now to solve. Take the 85 degree angle, add it to the 132 degree angle, plus the 130 degree angle, plus the 70 degree angle, plus the 318 degree angle, plus the 45 degree angle, plus our missing angle x. All of those have to total 900. Now we can reduce the equation by adding 85, 132, 130, 70, 318, and 45 together. All of those will give us 780 plus x on the left equals 900 on the right. Now we subtract 780 from both sides. That will allow us to isolate our variable x on the left hand side because we know on the left the 780's will cancel leaving us with just the variable x. And on the right 900 minus 780 is 120. So x equals 120 or the missing angle is 120 degrees. Congratulations! You learned how to find the measures of angles in polygons.